Hi, hello friends. Welcome to Gardening and Content Club. Hope you guys are doing good. So in this video, I am going to show you how to repot a ficus plant and along with some tips and tricks. Let's get into this video. Okay, so this is a ficus plants as you guys know it's something around a nine month old uh, you know just six months back I just rescued this plants nearby uh, uh, drainage then I, I just keep this plant into this pot you can see the pot size after that you know it's uh, about nine month old now uh, initially uh, when I when I rescued this plants right so I, I there is a only one stem now you can see the multiple branches are spot out the, the reason behind is like you need to do the pruning so last month i just did the soft pruning soft pruning means like uh, nothing uh, like uh, leaf pruning just i did the leaf pruning after that you can see that the multiple branches are coming out from the primary stem so this is how you need to do the pruning uh, for not only that uh, you know bonsai varieties you can do pruning all kind of plants okay so now i'm going to report uh, so see well, not only this kind of varieties any kind of plant if you are going to report uh, from one pot to another pot what you need to do you make sure that soil, the soil should be moisture okay then only you know if you are going to remove the tree or any kind of plant the root will not get damaged so I could see that uh, soils well and uh, good uh, so even you can see that uh, you know it's fully wet so I believe I can do uh, report now before that so what you need to do you need to give some pressure around the pot like this so what will happen you can see some changes on the soil it will give some spaces and it will become uh, loosey where you can see now this is how you need to do while doing the report what will happen if you are doing like this it will not get any impact on the root so that you can easily remove the plant from this pot and you can uh, place it into the another plant, another pot so now i believe i can remove it so I, as i said you know it's big you know uh, you can see the roots are uh, you know well matured i cannot remove like as it is so what i am going to do you just follow this procedure even uh, uh, you know even, even not only this plant even you can try the same procedure for other plants as well you just cover like this and uh, just give some pressure okay See, I just removed this plant very safe. So now I have a, a bonsai pot with me, where you can see now. So already the, you know, I filled up with the soil. Let me tell you that uh, mixture of this soil, guys. So any kind of bonsai material, not only for radinium, uh, you can uh, consider ficus, banyan tree, neem tree. So any kind of uh, bonsai material. You can take the soil a mixture of 50% of garden soil, 10% of red soil and 10% of goat manure or any kind of uh, uh, compost and uh, rest you can take that cocoa pit. So that is how I did uh, 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 soil mixture. Now I am going to do the report now. Let's talk, let's talk about the sunlights uh, required for this kind of plants. See, uh, this kind of varieties, so let's say uh, ficus, banyan tree, or adenium, it requires more sunlights. Let's say five to six hours sunlights required uh, 
for them so i would suggest if you having this kind of varieties just keep them into the open place instead of in shade or on your balcony i would suggest to keep them into the open place so that uh, you know uh, uh, it absorb the more sunlight talk about watering we can do watering on daily basis for this kind of varieties like ficus uh, banyan tree and neem tree except adenium uh, during summer and winter season daily watering is not required two days once we can do it when we talk about the fertilizer fertilizer is not required for ficus banyan or neem tree any kind of tree varieties fertilizer is not required even if you want you can add compost monthly once about the fungus attack sometime it can happen uh, you know where we can see that leaves turn into yellow or we can see some holes on the leaves so what we need to do we can apply the fungicide powder on the sand so uh, by adding you know you, let's say example you can uh, take one spoon of fungicide powder and you can add them into uh one liter of oil then you can pour into the sand to avoid this issue okay guys let's finish this i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are watching this video without subscribe please do subscribe and ask your friends and family circles to subscribe our channel let's meet into another good video bye